I'm Juliana, founder of Skill Time, and today we're gonna to talk about how to pass the baton in client onboarding. And what I mean by that is, how do we go from sales to production um, and make sure that we have all of the information that we need to create a successful experience for our clients and for ourselves and for our team. So how do we go about doing that? Um, let's think about this. Let's say you're packing for a trip. Let's pretend we're going to Malaysia, right? And um, let's say you're helping someone pack, right? Now, what good client onboarding looks like is you're packed in a beautiful little suitcase, your carry-on's on point, everything to get you through security is excellent, everything's on 100 milliliter bottles, laptop is exactly easy to take out, um, everything's perfectly packed. Bad client onboarding looks like this. You're almost packed, you're rushing, and then you're about to get out of the door, and then you're like, crap, I forgot my keys. And then you have to go back, and then you're like, crap, I forgot my cell phone. And then you're halfway through, you know, and you got on a cab or a subway or a bus or a donkey, and you're like, crap, I forgot my swimsuit, and I really, really want to go to the beach in Malaysia. So that is what, what happens when we don't have client onboarding. Um, <laughs> you have all of these things that you need to go back and get um, in order to have a successful journey or in order to be able to take off or really, really be able to be at peak performance during that journey. So we wanna make sure that we pack everything from sales to production that we possibly can. Now, what are five things that we can do to make sure that happens? One is a client intake. An intake is a list of all of the assets or all of the things um, or people that we need in order to create the amazing journey for our clients that we need, right? And we wanna get that up front, right? Because we wanna wanna be going back and grabbing that swimsuit later on. That kinda sucks. Um, and it takes time and it drags. Then we have a client brief. What is a client brief per se? And this can take many shapes or forms, and it's the information that goes from sales, right? Whoever sold that client, you know, that vision or that idea or that specific project, right? And all the details in that and what they were expecting to now we have to go and produce it, right? So if we aren't able to hand that off in some way, shape or form, we're not gonna be able to deliver on what we promise. So Client Brief really helps to explain and lay that out. Then there's a welcome kit. A welcome kit is extremely important because when we sell, the first thing that we think of is like, yes, you know, we're so excited. We're like, we're gonna crush it. When a client gets sold to, they're like, crap, I don't know whether or not I made the right decision. Could I have used that money or those resources for something else? Either, you know, a different competitor. Could I have used that internally? Could I have hired someone with that money? I don't know, right? So, so we really have to solidify that they made the best decision possible with their resources, with the welcome kit. And in, then we will have a kickoff. In that kickoff is really where we set the stage for their expectations, right? We wanna make sure that we clean up everything that we needed to grab from them from the intake, that they're excited, that we make them even more excited, that we meet everyone that we were supposed to meet, that we have clear communication, that there's warm and fuzzies throughout, right? Reinforcing that they've just made the best decisions is buying sliced bread. All calories not included. Lastly, we wanna talk about client performance, right? Somehow, somewhere, are we measuring, you know, the results that the client wants and the results that we want for those clients? Those things are not always mutually exclusive, right? What we want for them may not necessarily be what they want for themselves. So really having a way and a vehicle to not only set what those results will be, but to demonstrate them to them every single step of the way. And that is the five things that are gonna give us the biggest impact for our effort in our client onboarding so that we can pass that baton. All right, well, if you have any questions about that, let me know, subscribe below, and let me know how your client onboarding is going. Ciao.